Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahol, the second swing golf today at the 2020 PGA Merchandise Show. We're at Mizuno with Chris Fochel. We're going to talk a little bit about ST200 drivers and fairway woods. Chris, how are you doing today? I'm doing awesome. How about you? How's the show going? It's going well. It's going well. It's busy, of course, as you know, but uh, it's, it's a great time. Learning yes. about new stuff. ST200 drivers and woods here. Uh, great product here from Mizuno. We did mm -hmm. some testing at the demo day. Uh, they look great, they feel great, and I know there's a bunch of technology packed in there as well. You know, it's fun when the buzz around around the Mizuno booth is around the woods. You know, yeah. There's always a lot of buzz around the irons, but the ST200 product has been so good for us right off the bat. Early tour success and everything. We're so excited to talk about it. So first we got the ST200 driver. What I'll do is I'll talk about a couple of the technologies that are in all three of okay. them, and then I'll go into each one individually. Sure. So the key thing that could get a lot of ball speed from the ST200 is a new beta titanium face. We used what was called an SP700 face before, which was beta rich, meaning it had more beta titanium, faster ball speeds before on the ST180 and the ST190. On the 200, this is almost a fully beta titanium face. It's going to give explosive distance, great speed off the face, ton of power. So that's one of the things you'll see on all of them. Top of that, even though it looks very similar from the top, a newly designed, uh, redesigned uh, composite crown. We thinned it out, put some reinforcing ribs across it to make sure it's structurally sound, but we were able to recognize some weight savings from that. You look down on the sole side, we've had our wave sole for a while, but we really fine-tuned it this year. We made it a little bit more compact, so we were able to recognize some more weight savings out of that. Still get tons of contribution from ball speed all across the face, but by doing it with less weight, we got more to play around with. So what differentiates the three is really where did we put all that extra weight. On this ST, we put a big a stainless steel weight, 11.6 grams, directly in the back, low as, deep, as low and deep as possible. Okay. That's going to make this club very stable, launches easy, just wants to go straight. On the next one, the ST200G, if you're a player who's looking to just kill spin, instead of putting the weight back, which actually helps the ball get up, we put two eight gram tungsten weights right here that slide on two tracks. So you can slide them all the way back for a little bit more launch, all the way forward for a little bit less launch, and a very penetrating ball flight, very low spin. So this golf club, put it up against anything in the market if you're looking for that low spin, so the third one, the new addition to the line for Mizuno is the ST200X. This is something that we've had overseas, this type of golf club, but we haven't had in the States for really ever. And what it is, is we call it our Japan Authentic Spec. So rather than putting all the weight back in the rear like we did on the standard or in those two sliding weights on the G, on this one we put a lighter weight here, this is an aluminum weight, and actually focus more mass into the heel. What that's going to do is it's going to help encourage a, a turnover, a, a draw shot with this one. Overall, it's a lighter head weight as well. So this one's about 10 grams lighter in the head. The shaft is only 39 grams as opposed to 60 something grams on the others. And the grip is only 37 grams. So as a total, 270, which is ultra lightweight, very easy to swing, very easy to launch and turn over, something new for us to sure. really round out the ST200 line. Yeah, and one of the things I noticed testing uh, on demo day was, especially with the SC200G, mm -hmm. was the adjustability on the sole yeah. with the weighting. Um, in the past, you know, it, it hasn't been as smooth for sure as it looks and right. performs as well on the SD200G. The, the sliding weights are really clean. Yeah, and you're right. So Mizuno, we're always known for good looking, like yeah. beautiful at address and beautiful from every angle. Mm -hmm. And some of our drivers were a little bit aggressive from the sole, if I would say so, especially some of the adjustable ones, all sorts of things yeah. moving all over the place. We wanted to make a very, cle uh, very clean, very sophisticated weight track on this with two weights that have a ton of function, all in a very Mizuno package. Absolutely. Now, from a fitting perspective, you got three models. You kind of outlined a little bit of the performance characteristics yep. from each one, but um, you know, what should golfers be looking for out of these and in terms of fitting? You know, what type of players is each one going to fit? You know, in general, the X is going to be for that player who's got a little bit lower swing speed, looking to really get some help launching it and turning the ball over. The G, on the other hand, is the opposite end of the spectrum. The G typically is going to fit that player who's got a lot of speed, who needs low spin to make sure that ball doesn't get too high in the air. And then if you had to say like the meat of the bell curve, the one that most people are yeah. going to fit into, it's the standard ST200 because it's just so stable and just designed to hit straight shots. Sure. And now we'll kind of mention the fairy woods as well here because mm -hmm. that's also a big piece of the ST200 family. Yeah. A couple models to discuss. Um, what are, what's the technology involved there and the performance of both models? So similar to the 200 on the driver, we brought in a new face material. There's a new face material on here as well. Okay. It's a new miraging steel called MAS-1C. It's a very okay. technical name. Yeah. 
doesn't matter. <laughs> what you need to know is we could go ultra thin on it. We could get very aggressive with the Cortec design, meaning we have some even thinner areas throughout the face, allowing for tons of ball speed. Very explosive off the face, great distance. And with that, paired with our Wave Technology Soul, like I talked about on the driver, we were able to get explosive ball speeds all over the face. Again, save some weight on that as well by making it a little bit more compact. Save some more weight on the composite crown as well. All that reposition around the head to make it more stable. So our design goals for this was to make a golf club that's very stable, easy to launch, but at the same time, pretty low spin yeah. head. So it does come in two different models. The standard, which is a bonded three wood and a five wood, and what we call our TS, or our tour spoon. And that's an adjustable. That has our quick switch adapter, so you can adjust it plus or minus two degrees. Absolutely, and now one thing our customers and golfers out there are always curious about is the tour adaption. How is that process going for you guys? It's been amazing. I mean, that's always been one of the holdups and kind of things that give people a little bit of pause yeah. on Mizuno Woods is that there hasn't been much tour adoption. Yeah. SC200 has been the complete opposite case. We've already, in this first week out on tour, we had five drivers in play. This week we're gonna have even more than that. Wow. And it feels like everyone we get in the hands of a player, they put it straight in. And the great thing is we've got players in the G, in the standard, and even the X. Wow. So we've got players in all three models. It just shows that there's great performance out of these. Absolutely, versatility in the SC200 package with drivers and fairy woods. Great options for golfers in 2020. Chris, thank you for providing the information, the tech, everything for us, been great. Awesome, thank you.